हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी ग्राफिकल सोल्यूशन ऑफ साइमल्टेनियस लीनियर इक्वेशन एंड लीनियर इन इक्वेलिटीज वी हैव बीन सॉल्विंग साइमल्टेनियस लीनियर इक्वेशन बाय एलिमिनेशन मैथड एंड बाई सब्सिट्यूशन मैथड एंड टुडे वी विल सॉल्व द साइमल्टेनियस लीनियर इक्वेशन यूजिंग ग्राफिकल मैथड वी हैव अ सिस्टम ऑफ टू इक्वेश एंड टू वेरिएबल्स दिस इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड टू बाई टू सिस्टम in which we have two variables and uh, two equations and we will have two answers from this equation one for x and one for y <clears throat> first of all we will draw graph of uh, this equation this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 okay this is a linear equation and uh, if you want to draw a graph of this equation we have to make y or x as a subject of this equation so i'm going to make y the subject of this equation so equation 1 will become 2y is equal to 8 minus x and then it will become 8 minus x over 2 okay now we have to make a table because we need to find coordinates if we substitute x is equal to 0 then y will be equal to 4 and similarly if we substitute x is equal to 2 that will become 8 minus 2 is equal to 4 and 4 over 2 will be 2 this will become 2 sorry 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 this will become 3 now because it is a straight line so we need to find only two coordinates if we have a curve in case of a, a second order equation or quadratic equation or in case of a cubic equation we need to find 3 4 or 5 or 6 coordinates but because this is a straight line so we need to find only two coordinates now for equation 1 we have two coordinates 0 4 and uh, 2 3 similarly we can find coordinates for equation 2 again i am going to make y subject of this formula so this will become y is equal to 2x minus 1 if you make y subject of this formula so we will have uh, again we, we need to make a table if we substitute x is equal to 0 we will have y is equal to minus 1 or if we substitute x is equal to 1 So y will also be equal to one. Now, uh, if we want to choose values of x, we are free uh, because in equation one, equation one we have uh, selected zero and two, and in equation two we have selected zero and one. There is no hard and fast rule for this selection. We can choose any number, but try to choose a smaller number so that we can plot our graph within this coordinate system. because uh, if we are going to choose a greater number greater than 10 or greater than 20 we have to modify this coordinate system so try to choose a smaller number okay and in equation 2 we have two coordinates 0 minus 1 and 1 uh, and 1 now we are going to plot these coordinates first of all we will plot equation 1 the first coordinate is x 0 and y 4 so this is first coordinate x 0 and y 4 and second coordinate is x 2 and y 3 it will come here x 2 and y 3 and we will plot this we will join these two coordinates we will have this okay and similarly we will plot coordinates of this equation x 0 and y minus 1 this is here and x 1 and y 1 this is here so if we join these coordinates we will have this straight line now look at the point of intersection of both lines this was graph of uh, first line and this was graph of second line and this is point of intersection of both straight lines so this will be our solution for this equation so in this 
system of equation x will be equal to 2 and y will be equal to 3. So this is graphical solution of uh, simultaneous linear equations. Now we are going to start the solution of uh, linear inequalities. For example, we have a system of some linear inequalities and uh, we need to find region bounded by those inequalities. This is an example 2. We have an inequality 2x plus y is less or equal to 5 and uh, x minus y is greater than 1 and y is greater than minus 4. This is a system of linear inequalities and we need to find the region bounded by these three inequalities. Now if we want to draw graph of linear inequality or if we want to find the solution of uh, linear inequalities first of all we have to treat these inequalities as equations as simple linear equations so we will convert these inequalities into equations we will replace the sign of inequalities by the sign of inequality so this will become 2x plus y is equal to 5 and this will become x minus y is equal to 1 and this will become y is equal to minus 4. This is first step if we want to solve uh, inequalities. Now like in previous example we will draw graph of these equations one by one. Let's suppose this is equation 1, this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Now in case of equation 1 if we make y the subject of this equation this will become y is equal to 5 minus 2x so again we need to make a table if we substitute y is equal to x is equal to 0 y will be equal to 5 and similarly if we substitute x is equal to 2 y will be equal to 1 again because this is a linear equation so we need to draw only two coordinates look at equation 2 if we make y the subject of this equation uh, this will this equation will become y is equal to x minus 1 and here if we substitute x is equal to 1 then y will be equal to 0 and if we substitute x is equal to 2 then y will be equal to 1 and in case of this equation y is equal to minus 4 because we have only one variable so no, uh, no need to uh, find coordinates for this equation we can draw graph of this equation simply now let me erase previous graph then we will find the solution of this system okay first of all we will draw this we have coordinates first coordinate is 0 and 5 x 0 and y 5 and second coordinate is x 2 and y 1 okay and uh, if we join this we will have this will be graph of this equation and uh, but one more thing <coughs> we wanted to draw graph of uh, this inequality so this is 2x plus y is less or equal to 5 now we have to draw this region which is represented by this inequality by shading this region we have to describe this region by shading this region now across this line we can describe this inequality by this region or by this region okay now we have two regions below this line and above this line we can uh, find a test point from both regions then we will we will be able to describe the required region for example we are going to select this point which is origin from this region if we 
put this region because this is this point is 0 and 0 if we substitute this region over here if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 we will have 0 is less or equal to 5 this is basically true because 0 is always less than 5 and uh, let's uh, select another test point from above region so let's suppose this point this is uh, x is equal to 10 y is equal to 3 okay if we substitute this point over here 2 and 3 x is equal to 2 so 2 plus 2 multiply that will become 4 plus 3 so 7 is less or equal to 5 now this is false because 7 is always greater than 5 so because this point is correct so our required region is below this line so if we shade this we will have this type of description of this inequality in this way we can shade this inequality now look at the description of the second inequality first of all we will plot the coordinates x1 and y0 this is x1 and y0 and then x2 and y1 this will be the equation uh, this will be the graph of this inequality this again we have uh, two regions on right side and on left side of this equation now we are going to do same thing we will select a test point from here let's suppose this is our test point from this side it is 5 2 and this is our test point from this side it, it is 1 4 basically this is inequality of x minus y is always greater than 1 now here if uh, we put this coordinate in this equation uh, this inequality we will have x minus y will be equal to 1 minus 4 that will be minus 3 is greater than 1 now this assumption is false because minus 3 is less than 1 and if you put this point over here that will be 5 minus 2 is greater than 1 it means 3 is greater than 1 so this is true so this is our test point so our required region is on right side of this line so if we shade right hand right side of this line we will have graph we have description of this inequality okay now look at last inequality it is y is greater than minus 4 we know that this is this line is y is equal to minus 4 we have to describe the region which is above than this line because uh, all these numbers minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and 1 and 2 are values of y and all these numbers are greater than minus 4 so this will be our required region like this okay one more thing in case of uh, this type of uh, inequality in which have, we have less or equal or greater or equal we will describe this inequality by a discrete line like this this is a discrete line but in case of this type of inequality in which we don't have sign of equality this is not greater or equal this is just greater than and this is also just greater than so if we this is basically a mixed inequality in it means less or equal but this is a single inequality it means greater than and it is also mean greater than so this type of inequality will be represented by a dotted line like this we will represent this by a dotted line similarly y is greater than minus 4 this is this will be represented by a dotted line like this so this will be our required region this this region is represented this region is bounded by these three inequalities